Okay guys, today we're gonna to do something just a little bit different. So for the last oh, bunch of weeks, I've been hanging out down at Arcadia in Odessa here. If you've ever been to Arcadia, you know what it's like. And um, I'm kind of getting tired of it. I'm tired of the, of the fake beach, the fake boobs and the fake lips. So today, Luba wanted to take me down to the local beach where she grew up, where she used to go to when she was a child. Yeah, and, I was spending uh, my summer here. She used to spend her summers here. So I, I wanna show you guys, and I wanna see it as well, what it's like down here. Um, for you guys that don't want to go to these massive day clubs and um, spend um, probably three or four times the amount of money, eh? You think? Right. Yeah, okay, so come with us. We're going to go for a walk. So this area called uh, Sixteen Station of Big Fountain, and it used to be a very popular area. So that's, uh, um, as you know, stayed on the sea coast, uh, located on the sea coast. And, um, so we have uh, 16 station of Big Fountain. It's a long story about the name. It was about the water. So that's what was struggling with water long times ago. And afterwards, uh, they start having this water over here and they call it like first, second, third, blah, 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 and 16 station of Big Fountain. Mm -hmm. So not all the stage. And uh, actually we have a funny uh, saying about that. So the water was really good here uh, on a fountain. And uh, if somewhere uh, was served the water from different area. Uh, people was trying it and saying, not a fountain, like not 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 a good. Was the not, water not coming good. from the ground? And uh, it was not from the ground. Uh, I actually don't know. Maybe maybe it was somewhere. You know, this we have these buvets. It's underground water, very clean. Yeah. From like a spring. Like a spring, yeah. I I think so. And people really like the water over here. So. So the station is, means that's where water comes from. Yeah, the station, uh, nowadays no, not as much, but it used to be like that. And uh, here was area where people, like this 16th station, it's my favorite because it's the last one, it's the furthest one, and the water was always the cleanest. Uh, I can't say that it is the same nowadays, but at least it used to be when I was a kid. Mm. But people still really like it. All the local people uh, from this area, from this district of the city, are coming to this beach. And um, So they don't really go to... Arcadia, all those beaches? No, no, really, no. There's uh, mini buses uh, staying on the top of here. Here is a good transportation, good logistics. So uh, mostly from all parts of city you can uh, get to this beach, mm -hmm. but mostly from Tairo area. It's um, area usually like where people live, like all the girls that you are dating and uh, you meet, yeah. they usually live either Pasiolokotovska, where it's one area of Odessa, like further also on the beach, uh, and this one. So here is the hidden street, very uh, quiet. As you've seen, we was driving there. It's like super crazy. Today is Sunday, and it's very, very popular for people to come to the beach over here. And this is the little street where I grew up when I was a kid. And um, it's very different from everything you see in Arcadia. Very different from everything you see in a city center. And the road here is still really bad. Nobody is that, uh, actually want to fix it, but it's very cozy and it's very close to my heart area. So nowadays it looks a little bit different than when I was a kid, because here you can see um, on the left is a big house. Here used to live. Here was a little house, uh, and uh, my our neighbor used to live here, old lady, and then she died when she was 19. Somebody bought it and they built this huge. A uh, place that they use as a um, like mini hotel. On the right, it's the area where I grew up. And yeah. no, on the right, we just passed it. Oh. <laughs> and here, you can see on the left. Now it's also it used to be a huge house uh, where a very old family used to live, like uh, a lot of generations. And then the grandmother died, and uh, her kids moved to other country, and they sell it for famous. Uh, footballist, soccer player, and he built this giant, <laughs> giant house. And still, it's a paradox of Ukraine, he still didn't fix this amazing road. Uh, the interesting uh, thing about this little street is that it's very, very close to the beach. And uh, all these little houses, they rent for tourists. So when the tourists come to Odessa, they know about this area, they kind of know or, or they read. Here is very, very cheap Here's actually my uh, best friend used to live, and I think he's still, his parents at least, uh, for sure living. And uh, so they was renting 
even small pieces like small room but people was happy to stay because it's so close to the beach you will see that we just pass the street we turn left and we end up with the so how much would someone read Uh, it's actually a little room because uh, you can uh, see that uh, it's uh, the toilet can be can be on the street and so there's just a room to sleep. Um, it starts from maybe three five hundred grivnas, depends on the size. Can be even small, uh, less. Per night. Per night, yeah. It can be even small. It's like ten dollars. And, and is it? So here train? you can see. You know, it's 80 meters from the beach and it's all like this yard is actually, we can sneak. It's very funny because uh, here's all little, like every little corner, every little piece is for rent. Oh, wow. And here people usually not book it ahead. So they just uh, come, they walk in, they see the number, they call and they... They move in. They move in. They're very happy. Like conditions honestly are terrible. Uh, not good at all. But it's very close to the beach and it's um, it's a very... Uh, aut authentic, how you call it? Alternate. <laughs> out, uh, no, very, very traditional. Authentic. Authentic, yeah. Okay. Here, they, uh, now when I was a kid, it was uh, a bit different. It was very, you know, it was old houses with old owner and she was renting like some rooms. But unfortunately, all these people now died. And here, like they do, like they try to do it bigger. They try to do it higher so people can rent it and they have more rooms for that. So how far away are we from the city? Actually, not that far. Um, like five minutes to drive? No, no, definitely not. It's about maybe 20, 30 minutes, depends on the traffic. On weekends, it's about 20, 30 minutes. But the problem here is very difficult to park uh, because usually it's a lot of cars over here. But if you come here during the week, a working days, it's going to be much less people. Yeah, something different from um, um, Arcadia? Arcadia. Here you will see just local people. You will not see these fancy girls and fancy guys who got well, yeah, well, out of the gym. Yeah, that's what's interesting about it because a lot of guys that come over, they just think that all the girls in Ukraine look like the girls at Ibiza, at Ibiza and, and Red Line. But they don't all look like that, you know? All people, there's so many different, you know? Different but the thing you've got to remember is that if you go to those clubs, you're going to meet the high-end girls, you know, with the right. lips and all that. So. Here, uh, when I was um, coming here more often, like it's, it's how people meet each other. Yep. You know, they buy the street food, they go there, they lay down, they don't have this fancy uh, bungalow and uh, yeah, bed. Cocktail, it still right. have it, but it's more likely that you come with your, uh, with your towel, the sand is all over the place, it's like yeah. everywhere. And uh, you um, you just spend your time, and if you like somebody, you start talking, and it's absolutely normal. Well, a lot of guys talk about like they want down to earth um, girl, village girl, blah blah blah. You're not going to find this at Ibiza. No, right <laughs> here it's a new like this is like a private beach here because we will turn right now, and you will see that there is a area where people just come and lay down on a, a beach towel. But here they open the cinema, so every day they. They have different kind of uh, movies. Okay. I think it's for kids uh, earlier and for adults a little bit later. I'm quite keen to look at the prices here because the other day we were down at um, Ibiza and we bought two two fruit platters. And I think it, I think that was I think they were eighty dollars something like that for two fruit platters that we bought. No, definitely the prices here are going to be much cheaper. This is kind of ridiculous uh, construction. Ridiculous construction because it's like so close to the water and this area, like exactly this house, I'm not sure how they got the permission, to be honest, because it's right on a, on a coast and our coast is made from the shell stone. Uh, so I'm not sure like how safe is to like how long this house gonna stay and, and also people are very upset because this area used to be like so um, just so calm it was just for local nowadays of course a lot of people will buy places here like a lot of I think Westerns and we're okay with that because it's investment in our country but at the same time like people still want to know that there is a place where they can come and it will be calm and nice 
So you could buy property around here quite easily? Yes, and it's very attractive because it has a beautiful sea view uh, and it's uh, still Odessa, so it's still uh, this part. It's not going to be cheap here, but well, what's uh, cheap? I would... What do you think it would cost for like a square meter for like a, a house up here? Uh, you know, the square meter, uh, it's not a house, like it will be apartment. apartment. So it's going to be just, um, I think, depends on which stage you buy, but it's about um, 700 to 1200 dollars. And I just said about this house, like this house for me, it's kind of not really safe, but on the top, it's very, very attractive to buy a place here. This little restaurant is actually not that little anymore. It's kind of big, so... Should we look uh, at the menu? Yeah, you know, uh, remember when we was walking here, they have a complex dinner, so like lunch. Yeah. You can come here, and a lot of people do because they like they come to the beach, they're hungry. So they have all kind of fish here. And uh, the d lunch here with the four positions like borscht, uh, tomato, uh, potato, then chicken uh, and uh, some salad. It costs only 130 grivnas, so it's like $5 for, for meals. And they always have variety because not everybody wants uh, like borscht or something. They have a fish menu and they have uh, more like a kid menu. Yeah. But it's always very fresh and traditional. And it has, uh, it definitely has the same amazing view as in Arcadia, like for the water. But the prices are, of course, much cheaper. Yeah. Here's a lot of different uh, amusements for for kids and for adults, like uh, banana rides, oh, and yeah. uh, it's very popular that they sell here uh, this corn, and it's like you will see on the beach, everybody sitting and like <laughs> biting it. You wanna have a look down here, or? Uh, you know, we can go to this beach and then we will turn the other side. Okay, let's have a look at this page. So here you will see all kind of people. Uh, one thing, one recommendation, it's like when I go with... I just never take anything valuable here. I even try to leave my phone at home because uh, here nobody gonna watch for your stuff. When I was a kid, we was always like laying down near the older people, and we was asking like when we go to the to the water with my family, I was asking like, can you watch our stuff? Uh, you still do it actually. You you still have <laughs> this trust in people, and it's good. People will watch actually. They will be very responsible, but try to not be very like dressed up and uh, try to leave all your valuable stuff at home. Try to look and, like a local. Right, and, and if you go like to the bar, you want to drink, never leave your stuff. Just, you know, take a little bag and just carry it with you. And people carry the umbrellas with them, so you can see that here is no beds. No, this, how you call it, this lounges? Yeah, the lounges, yeah. yeah. Here is a uh, little... I want to go on this. <laughs> How you call it? It's pier. 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 So it's the place where my uh, dad used to and still do fishing. So right now he's somewhere there on the water with his little boat with his friend. Uh, but in the evening when he come from work and uh, so he do fishing on a boat uh, on weekends and uh, he uh, he go here. He comes here during the work week after the work. So they know, they all know each other. They all <laughs> talk about all kinds of stuff. A lot of people are swimming. Uh, you can see this white stuff maybe in the water, but it's because it was very, um, it was a big storm. And actually the water is kind of clear. It looks like oh, it. <laughs> it was what was, we was doing when I was a kid. Like it was so popular, everybody was lying. Oh, people stay here and jump. Because on this side, it used to be, on the left side, used to be stones in, under the water. <gasps> oh. He lost everybody. <laughs> okay, let's go back that way. Right. But you can see, come for a second. Here is not a big fish, but uh, people always have these buckets and they, they carry it with them. The fish is small here, but very delicious. And uh, this restaurant serve it actually. I don't think that you ever tried it yet. It has a lot of bones, but it's very it's kind of like sweet. Oh, yeah. And there you can see this little, I, I, we call it catamaran, but I don't know, uh, this little water bicycle. Also very yeah. popular for people to do <laughs> exercise and uh, just go further in the water to swim. 
we don't have anybody like any sharks, any um, anything dangerous in the water, so it's very safe to Do they swim. Have like like uh, lifeguards. You know, uh, if you're going to drown, someone will come in and pick. Right. Um, they yes, they do have. I would not 100% rely on that, but uh, they do have the station over here. Oh, yes. So if something will happen, they will definitely help you. And here's a lot of uh, jet ski that they will rescue. If there is going to be storm and somebody's still in the water, um, they will definitely go and take them, help them to get back. Can you bring like your own alcohol to the beach? Uh, people, <laughs> people st of course will bring uh, beer like you will see yeah. that almost on every uh, towel you, you will find a there's beer 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 yeah um, yes you can I would recommend to put it in a like bag or something so people not uh, you would doubt I, I would doubt that here's police gonna come and check you it's not legal to drink um, uh, on public yeah so we didn't know this and we actually got um told off drinking the beer outside right the bar. but I didn't understand because there was like street bars everywhere so if you buy a beer where are you gonna drink it it's confusing for me they kind of you know sometimes they do the uh, rule here the right and then they don't know how to handle it yeah and uh, so it's something that happened with uh, with drinking so I can't give you the strict answer I would just recommend you if you're Western and you don't want give me one second <laughs> This is full of sand. So don't drink uh, on a public. Like you can sit at the place, any kind of restaurant and uh, any any bar, you can drink it. If you want to drink it out, just take a little, ask for a little bag, and drink it from there. You know how they put the bottle oh, yeah. in a white bag, like paper bag, to hide it. To hide it. You still do the same, but you kind of... So this side is more like here the most local people. And uh, you know what? Not just local, actually. Here is on the top. I think I told you there is a place where people... Uh, it used to be pilots and now it's just the military or maybe backward. Uh, so families of militaries got an uh, invitation for this like little resort on the top and uh, they can spend a week with their families there and they can um, they can come to the beach so you will find here a lot of people from the village actually you will find a lot of people from uh, countryside who are coming for a week or 10 days well that's um, that's actually something because if guys are saying they want girls from the village they don't actually have to go to the village they can come to the beach <laughs> right <laughs> Yeah, you will meet different, different people, definitely not just Odessa people uh, because of this, all these renting places and this, these people, you will very rarely meet somebody from the West, you will meet somebody from, you can meet somebody from Russia, it used to be very popular, nowadays it's much less, but it will be from the countryside all over the Ukraine. This area is renovated, when I was a kid it was just old and it was like our broadwalk. Now it is very nice. Uh, here is uh, like if you've seen any videos about Odessa, they usually pose these two lines. Uh, and the reason that they fix it is that they built uh, extremely luxury villas on the top. I think it's like three or four, five villas over there. They already sold, but either the owners or the contractors, they just decide to make this uh, broadwalk very nice. And it's pleasant, it's clean, it's always somebody to take care, here's always security, so it's very safe to be here. It's very green there, it's beautiful. So this is kind of a beach that you will maybe want to go if you don't want to lay down on a, on a sand, you want to take a bat or you want to take a bungalow to come with somebody. Uh, they don't have any uh, swimming pools as they do in Arcadia. What are the prices? I know in Arcadia, like we get smashed because we're foreigners. So here, pricing. like for example, this beach called Bamboo, and you can see it's also very nice. It has this bed, it has these lounges, uh, and uh, so the lounge costs seventy grivnas. It means that it is uh, like uh, three dollars. 
different. Yeah. Uh, but if you want to take an umbrella, it's another 50, so it's another $2. Uh, so $5 total. If you want to take um, a VIP zone, so I think it's uh, maybe some a little bit more separate, it's 250 grivnas. Uh, if you want to have bed, it's uh, 250, 300, it's like about $10. And if you want to got the luxury bungalow, it's uh, the maximum you pay is five hundred fifty dollars. That is um, Grivna. Uh, Grivnas. Sorry, it's uh, twenty twenty dollars. The maximum price here. Mm. But again, uh, here you can only swim in um, in the beach, uh, in the water, in the black sea. You see the, here security, so they really watch for this area. That is very nice. And about the safeguards. Safeguards, yes. All right, you were asking. There's one of the station. Mm -hmm. In uh, spring and autumn, it's very beautiful here, especially in spring, because uh, all this um, alley is uh, full of roses. Looks very nice. And here on the picture, you can see how it used to be. Uh, so you, you, you maybe not see my friends, but let's look from the other side. That's pretty good. <laughs> now you see it was uh, this old, um, this little tent. So now they try to make it more, looks yeah. more nice. It was definitely, one thing I can say, it was not super clean here. Now they really take care of that. And so this area is very attractive um, as for tourists, as for locals, and it's very nice and pleasant to spend a weekend here. They built, of course, for the business, they built a lot of uh, street bars. Yeah. People. Most of the beaches uh, we have uh, sand, sand beaches. Sand. But this sand, is a yeah. real beach or they put this here? No, no, it's real beach. It's real? Yes. And the water is very clean, you can see it. Like, definitely don't drink it, don't swallow it, but it is Absolutely safe to swim. August is one of my favorite ones because uh, sometimes we have big waves. I just want to jump. Yeah. It's not dangerous. They never like too big, but it's. Um... So this year they prolonged this area. It was uh, last year. It was ended somewhere here, and now they continue doing it. We have few beaches that have um, stones, so you have to go to the water and you feel stones. Somebody really likes it because the water usually is much like much clearer there, but it's a bit hurting to go in. Yeah. But here people come with the how you call it table table, table games, like with chairs. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. Board oh, game. Very hot today. That's good. So when does it start getting cold? Um, usually, um, people are still at the beach till sometimes October. Yeah, it's a new one. Uh, it's a look. It's a sculpture of a Dreamer. So if you think how Dreamer looks like, <laughs> he is here on 16th Station of Big Fountain. So people yeah. are usually go to the beach till the middle of September but it will be definitely much less people because of school and because all these tourists from countryside will go back to work and uh, but warm will be till till end of september usually we, september we usually call like golden autumn when it's not that hot but still well very warm and pleasant and the water in the beach is still warm usually it's about 18 celsius 18 to 22 celsius uh, water so it's very pleasant and nice to swim in I really do would, would prefer this more than the beach clubs. I really, I really go to Arcadia maybe, like for the club, two three times a summer, and I, I like to, I like to go out and definitely, I like fun time. But and maybe two three times also to the private beach over there. Yeah. I would because it's I mean, enough. I mean, it's I, enough. I, I was going there. Obviously. 
that's the place you kind of go in summer. But I didn't know that there was this, you know. So, and I, and I think that's probably the same with many guys is that they don't, they don't know that this is here. Nobody's going to tell right. them. Maybe a girl they meet on, only wants to go to Arcadia. Right. But I mean, I think if you could meet a girl down here or take a girl here and she's happy here, I think you can tick that off the box. <laughs> right. And uh, this beach was always very uh, quiet. Uh, they actually bring some sand over here because here uh, last year it was a big storm and uh, little waves and so it just, um, how do you call it, like cut, cut the beach. Uh, they eroded the beach. Yeah, and yeah. so now they put some sand and they make this beach back, they return it. It looks very nice. I think it's romantic, look, look at these uh, stones. You think that's romantic? It's just like, a, like on an island. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> okay, what do you call nude beach romantic? Do you want to do video over there? You want to go to the nude beach? Not today, but Let's we go. can. <laughs> it might not be um, very acceptable if we take this camera. But look, isn't it romantic? Oh, it's nice. It really is. I mean, this beach looks nicer than the Arcadia beach, right? The water. Right. People just, it's a little bit harder to pass here because of these stones. But look, it's just these stones and water is so clear and the color is amazing. Good for Instagram, good for Instagram photos. Da like always, on these stones, it's always very popular. You one see one. this go? Okay, let's finish it there. Uh, here? Because the, the battery might run out. Here or? Uh... Well, let's go down there. We've probably got like <gasps> a pipe in it. Careful. You seen how I... Yes. And it was bad? I don't think anyone would notice. Yeah, you can check Instagram picture. And it's pretty much all. So this coast is uh, full of this nice uh, beach. And uh, you can definitely spend a day or two here and uh, just enjoy local life. Yeah, local prices. Local prices. Because they're not going to change the prices here, are they? There's no double menu. There's nothing. No. Nothing no, like that. There's no. no money back. No. Restaurants. There's nothing like that. You know, Odessa is this is very de yeah. developing city, and you, President, we all hope that you know it will it will be all for best, and we really we have so much hope and so much trust uh, in that, and uh, we see some improvements. I I see it personally, and I'm very happy and very proud of that. When I was a kid, we was happy just to have this road and just to walk here and uh, eat ice cream um, in the evening. But right now they make it much nicer, so I feel proud to even bring you here and show you guys there. Even there's another part that I'm also proud of, like it's my, it's my area and I'm proud of all of this. But I feel that it will be a lot of developments in Odessa and uh, yes, center is very touristic, of course. Like I'm not proud of them that they take advantage of on Westerns and tourists. When I come to a different country, I don't want anybody to take charge of me, but um, it is what it is. You just need to be aware of beautiful, nice areas and yeah. you just can have to come here. Same as when we travel, like when I travel, I try to not visit uh, travel parts, uh, I mean touristic uh, parts. Yeah. Yes, you go to see the main sightseeing, but then you just... Uh, we can do some other videos, we can go to the village um, or something, you know, like the village beach maybe right. or something like that. Just show other parts that are not, um, you know, double menus and all this sort of stuff. Everything is much nicer right now and even like they make this little bar and they have this playground for the kids that make me feel very good because they actually start thinking about people as well um, as it was very different before. We feel that it will be much better and uh, I'm proud of Odessa. I think we should stop here because um, I think you should try to swim in our water, it's your time. And as you can see, it's go all the way to Arcadia, but... Uh, oh yeah, that's Arcadia just down here. Right. You can swim there. You can swim there. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. We hope that you enjoy our video. Yeah, if you guys want to see more uh, 360 videos, so you can see more of what's going around, um, as opposed to um, you know just the, the regular vlog stuff that you see, all the tourist places on um, YouTube, we want to take you to some places that are um, a little bit more interesting and true Ukrainian life. And has a Ukrainian heart. Yeah, so subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.